If you are looking for housing in a very highly rated small city, then you really need to check out where I live at Mulberry Acres in Jackson, Missouri. Here's a picture of me. By the way, I'm Linda. And with my husband, we moved here to downsize and to be next to our grandkids. It was a right decision for us. My husband, the papa, and myself moved back to Jackson, Missouri, and we found ourselves in Mulberry Acres uh, last year in order to be with our granddaughter and our grandson. Here's the grandson at uh, Jackson City Park. You can see how beautiful it, it is. And actually, on the other picture, the husband and the granddaughter were catching fish and out catching me. But I got some revenge. Here's the big one, and actually that fish is way smaller than it actually appears in the photo. But first of all, if you're wondering if Jackson, Missouri is really a great place to live, don't take my opinion, even though I live here. According to Money Magazine in their August 2009 issue, of all the thousands of small cities in the United States, Jackson, Missouri ranks number 59. Some of their criteria includes medium income, home prices, job growth, reading and math test scores, climate, crime rates, air quality, leisure and cultural activities. But there's some top secret things that they didn't bother to mention. Shh, don't tell anybody, but Mulberry Acres has at least three secrets. For those that might like a good rodeo, there's a rodeo arena just down the road. It's called Flickerwood Arena, and it's great. Here's how you get to it. The first picture you see where the stop sign is, that's coming out of, the, out of Mulberry Acres. You turn to the left there. The next picture where you, you see the overpass, you go straight. You don't go on the overpass. You stay on the outer road. And then you keep going down for a little ways, and down on the left you're going to find this big building in its Flickerwood Arena. Great rodeos. For those of you that are like me, this is my uh, water aerobics class. It's over in Cape. And this was taken in the summertime, and mostly it's um, women that are a little bit older, but it's open to anybody. Uh, and you can go there even though you live in Jackson. The summer the pool is uncovered, and then the rest of the time it has this great big giant bubble over it, but it's great for staying in shape. Secret number one, the absolutely best ever meat market is right around the corner. You go back down to that stop sign, and you go back to the, um, to the left, and when you get to that overpass, you turn back to the right, and then it's right there, just across the bridge on the right-hand side. Uh, now, the siding, there's nothing wrong with the siding on that building, but for some reason, the sun keeps reflecting like there might be something wrong with the siding, but it's not. But they have the best meat you'll ever eat. Some folks, when they uh, consider living at Mulberry Acres, they ask these questions. Is mobile home living comfortable? What about energy efficiency? How do I winterize things like the water pipes? Is Mulberry Acres close to major hospitals? What is there to do in the area? Well, first of all, let me say that mobile home living is very comfortable. It's like living in any other house except that it's better. One of the cultural activities in the area is during the summer, there's a municipal band, the Jackson Municipal Band, that's been around since 1920, uh, that plays at the open-air theater there in the park. It is a free concert. Bring your lawn chairs or bring your blanket and just enjoy. It's really pleasant. There's a lot of different kinds of churches in the area. I'm mentioning two, but there's all different varieties. You can pick what you would like. But Cape First is a great church, and there's the Cape County Cowboy Church, which I've got the sign for. They, uh, they're a little bit north of Mulberry Acres, and Cape First is a little bit south of Mulberry Acres. During the summertime, you're going to find that there's farmer's markets around with fresh fruits and vegetables. In April, you'll see the dogwoods blossom, particularly out there at Trail of Tears, which is not too far. Now, that great big fish that I caught, this is across the little rotary uh, lake from that pier where that fish was caught. And the bottom picture with the walking bridge across is part of uh, over Hubble Creek, which is also in the park. There's a pretty good-sized shopping mall, not too far, uh, a little bit south of us. Uh, there's all kind of other shops in the area, including antique shops, but there is a mall. And, of course, there's Walmart, a couple of Walmarts and a Sam's. For those of you that are wondering if uh, there are major hospitals close by, there are. And again, uh, the picture at the top on the left-hand side, it has a wheelchair ramp. There are several 
homes in the park that do have wheelchair ramps, and they're certainly easy to build if you need one. Uh, but if you look at the siding, again, the picture is just coming out crazy on this with the light reflection. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the siding on that house whatsoever. But there are two major hospitals. There's Southeast Missouri Hospital and there's St. Francis Hospital. There's also an air ambulance that lives in the area. One thing that's not too far away is Southeast Missouri State University. This is one of the major buildings on the campus. There's also a river campus with a museum. Not to mention there's a nature center that's close by that's operated by the state. Uh, it has some activities year round including like froggy night and there's stuff like hummingbirds and there's all kind of activities in a, in a museum in there. It's a hands-on center. Uh, before Christmas there's a rural Christmas church tour that uh, is it's just absolutely it's astounding. The trees are decorated, the churches are decorated, you get to go inside and visit some of these small churches and they're just absolutely gorgeous. In the fall you can go to a pumpkin patch, you can pick your own pumpkin, you can ride through the pumpkin patch. Um, in the season there's peach and apple orchards that you can pick your own or get your own fruit. There's a couple of bowling alleys right here in Jackson. There's a host of other things for you to explore, including a golf course, and then there's uh, several other golf courses not too far away. So there's lots of activities. As far as how to winterize your pipes and how to do other things, John, the head maintenance guy that lives here in the park, um, is he and I are working together on putting together a bunch of little videos that show you how to do that exactly. They'll be up and running before long. Here's the park manager. Her name is Susan. And uh, there's some shocking things that you need to know about Susan. It is shocking, but it is true. If I didn't know it for, for sure for myself, I would not have believed it. This is my house. You see that siding there, that beautiful new stone siding? See the air conditioning unit outside my house? Just keep those in mind. I've got a story to tell you about both of them. When we moved in, we were promised that we would have new siding and we were promised a 30-day warranty on our house, which we purchased. All the houses in the park are purchased. Um, let me tell you something though about Susan. She promised it and lo and behold, it was delivered. The siding was put up and put up correctly and there was a small item that went bad on the, on the air conditioner and she wrote a check just very quickly, covered it, no problem. Now, let me tell you something else though about Susan. A couple of weeks ago, she literally was in a car, rack, car accident and uh, bumped her head. Now she's come up with this outrageous offer. If you need one of these, either a space, a single space or a double space, or single wide or a double wide. And again, I'm not sure what happened with the camera and the light on the, on the mobile homes. I've tried taking pictures all time of the day or night. They're, the homes are in beautiful shape, good shape, but the pictures make them look like they've got something wrong with them, but there's not. That's just the way the sun is reflecting on them. But if you need either a single space, a double space, a single wide house that's already set up and ready to move in, or a double wide that's already ready to move in, the outrageous thing that Susan has done, now this picture was taken actually a cup of, a day before the accident. She now sports a black eye, a pretty good shiner even two weeks later. Susan's outrageous offer is a two week free lot space when you move in and you're here for a year. You get your two weeks free at the end of the year. This offer does expire on this, this uh, two weeks on August the 31st, 2009 until Susan comes to her senses, whichever comes first. But believe me, it'll be, a, it'll be a move you will love to make and you will enjoy living here. I know that my husband and I do.